Okay, wait up. What do you want? Give me that, Lip. What do you think I want? You accuse your dad of trying to kill Martin and you expect me to forget about it? He did it. Incapable! Oh, get real! Look at the temper on him! Look where he goes, he goes like that! If you wanted to kill Martin, he'd have battered him to death on first day. Oh, but well, that is really reassuring. Well, he doesn't plan ahead, does yes, he? Yes, well, he did this time. I think he did something to Martin's brakes. Oh, right. So then he chases him down the road, trying to stop him, and uh, then he pulls him out of a burning car. Great murder, isn't he? Yeah, well, he bottled it. What are you thinking, Katie? You're supposed to be a clever girl. Look, I'm not going to the police until I've spoken to Martin. But as far as I'm concerned, my dad is capable of anything. Katie! No, darling. You'll be late clocking on. What? We've got to be on the dot today. Buttering up Baldwin for Christmas do. Oh, yeah. No excuses. Quick. Hey, it's me. Hi, darling. How are you feeling? Okay. You're not really with me, are you? Stop being up to tell me what happened somehow. Of course he isn't. He's concussed. Listen, have, uh, have you seen a doctor? There's been no one around since I came in. But they wouldn't tell you anything anyway. They only talk to family and next of kin, and you're neither. What did the doctor say? Said he's fine. He'll sleep most of today, but he's fine. What are you telling her for? She's Tat's girlfriend. Whether we like it or not, she's got to know. Well, I don't like it. So come and get me when she's gone. Thanks for that. Hey, I don't like you any more than she does. I think you're the worst thing that's ever happened to him. I'm not having you to argue him when he's trying to sleep. Hey, Tommy! Wait a minute. Don't say a word. All right, lads. Yeah, look, I uh, heard what you did for Martin. Well done. I mean, after what he's done to your family. Must have took some guts. Well, I didn't really have a choice, did I? I could hardly watch him burn. Yeah, I suppose not. Still, shows that you never meant what you said about threatening to kill him, eh? Oh, don't be stupid, of course he didn't mean it. He's only having a laugh. I was only kidding. He's still in shock. Seeing the accident shook him up a bit. Yeah, I suppose so. Come on, mate, let's get you on. See you later, lads. Yeah, see ya. You've got to be strong now, Craig. Like I said, if we stay calm and stick to our story, no one will ever find out. What they do to me? Well, we have to move again. Aren't you listening? No, what's going to happen? The police believed us. What about when they question Martin? What about it? Our story fits. It's not our fault he thought we were chasing him. If you'd listened to me instead of speeding off, none of this would have happened. Please. Nobody's suspicious. But they will be if we act guilty. Come in. How's Martin? Why do you care? I think you tried to kill him. Do you know? Look, I'm sorry Martin got hurt. I admit I hate him, but I wouldn't do him any harm. He's not worth doing time over. What are you talking about? The first thing you did when you found out about us was thump him. Well, that's different. He deserved a smack. Surely even you can see that. This ain't getting us anywhere. Well, let's get down to it then. Because I assume Detective Katie is here to ask us some questions. When did you see the brake fluid leaking? When you drove away. Then why were you running towards us before we even set off? I weren't running, I was walking. I ran when I saw what it was. <sighs> why didn't you tell me about the brake fluid when Martin dropped me off? I could have called him. You wouldn't have believed me. You always think the worst of me. Yeah, I do. <sighs> Credit me with a bit of intelligence. I would have come up with a better plan than that. I mean, what could have happened? He could have ploughed into a bus queue. How reckless do you think I am? I dragged him from the car. I saved his life. Satisfied? No. <sighs> what more do you want? Uh, what's bothering me is the coincidence. There's something wrong with his car. You're a mechanic. He goes too fast. You're chasing him. He nearly dies. You want him dead! I don't. I think that you messed with Martin's brakes when you were smashed out of your skull. Then you woke up, remembered what you'd done, and thought better of it. But it was too late, and that is when you were chasing us. That's not what happened! Shut it, Craig. No, tell me what happened, Craig. Not another he word. He knows something. He knows nothing. He's gonna tell me what He's happened. not saying anything. I ain't got a choice than ever. What are you doing, Katie? Dad, what's she doing? Don't worry. It's 
can be fine. She won't do anything. How can I help you? I want to report a crime. Then you come to the right place. My boyfriend had a car crash on uh, on Monday. Yeah. It wasn't an accident. My dad tried to kill him.